Okay, so on this problem, let's read it carefully. It says, suppose that for more than 10 years, doctors have been using a treatment for skin cancer that has a 72% cure rate. So 72% of the people get cured who uh, come in for the skin cancer treatment. Sadly, the other 28% do not, and they die from the skin cancer. Suppose further that a new treatment for skin cancer was developed and 60 patients received the new treatment with 49 of them being cured. Is this strong evidence that the percent cure rate is higher for the new treatment? What can be concluded at the alpha 0.05 level of significance? Okay. So this is called a hypothesis test. Because we're testing an idea. A hypothesis is an idea. And here's the idea. Is this strong evidence that the percent cure rate is higher for the new treatment? That's our hypothesis. That's what we think. Is it that for the new treatment, the cure rate is higher. Is that true or not? We tried it out on 60 patients and 49 of them were cured. Hey, by the way, what is 49 out of 60? Let's um, let's divide that on our calculator. And um, here I can go to a calculator real quick, if that's helpful for you. Um, let me see, I'll go to a Desmos scientific calculator. Here we go. Boom. What was it 49 out of 60? So I'll say, okay. Let's come in here. Let's go 49, 49 divided by 60. There it is. 81%. See it over there? 81, 82. I guess it would round to 82. So 82%. So that's about 82%. That's that's definitely higher than 72%. That's about 10% higher. So yeah, seems like the new treatment's better than the old. This is the new, new treatment, right? The new treatment, the old, this is the old, the old treatment, right? The one 10 years, they've been used treatment with 72% cure rate, that's the old one. But we've got a new treatment and it did, we tried it out on 60 patients and 49 out of 60, right? 60 patients received the new treatment. 49 were cured. That's 82%. That's better than 72. So yeah, the new one's better than the old one. Done. Well, 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 well. That's not quite the whole story, is it? 60 patients, is that enough? I mean, maybe we got a lucky group, right? That's always the problem. Maybe we got a lucky group. Maybe we just got a lucky group. You know what I mean? Like maybe they, they were just more healthy than most people. And it and that's why 82% of them were cured. And, and you know, we think that it's fooling us. The new one's not really better. Maybe, you know, the truth is going to come out. Here's always the problem with mistakes. The truth will come out five, 10 years down the road after we've given this thing to the skin transfer treatment to thousands and thousands, probably just one or two years down the road, thousands and thousands of patients. Then we'll know, uh-oh, the cure rate's only 65% or something. Maybe it's lower than 72. We'll know what happened with our when we tested it with our sample of 60 people. Well, 49 of them were just lucky bucks. But by random luck, we just happened to get a real healthy group of people who had a really light case of skin cancer. We caught it early. They were younger. They were more healthy, whatever. By random luck, it made us think the new one was better. When reality, we found out after a couple of years, when we've done thousands of patients, that nope, the new one's worse. And now we we wrecked a bunch of people's lives. We this is lives are hanging in the balance here. So how do we make sure we didn't just get a lucky group? I mean, it's only 60 people, and it really we only need the 49 really to be lucky. Maybe the 49 were just lucky. Could that happen? Should we do more? Should we do 100 patients? Should we try 200, 500, 1,000? I mean, the more you try, the longer you have to wait till you can make this thing public. Um, and the more it costs to do the, the trials and testing. So we'd like to know, is, is this is this strong evidence? Is there a chance that, that we just got lucky or what? 
All right, so with all that introduction, that's what it means to do a hypothesis test. We're going to find out if, is there, so the real question is, is this strong evidence? Okay, so how do we do it? Well, first step. For this study, we should use, now the answer is a Z test. Um, where is that? Let me show you in the notes where all that stuff, oh, here we, it's right there, I'm going the wrong place. Here we go, here's the, here is the unit three notes. This is, uh, if you go to the unit three notes, go to page two, there's hypothesis, and I give you all the steps here. So first off, if you have a percentage proportion question, use the Z test for population proportion. That's what we have. Go back here. See, it's about percentage, right? It says, is this a strong evidence that the percent cure rate? It's nothing about an average. It's a percent problem. So it says here in the notes, for percentage problem, use Z test for population proportion, not the T one. That's for averages. Okay, so that's our first one. Don't worry about what that means, Z test, da, 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 just whatever. Just select it, move it on. It's kind of a dinosaur from when we used to use tables and stuff. But now we just use online calculator, so whatever, Z-test. On we go. Now we're going to have HO and H1. What in the world are HO and H1? They're like two attorneys in a court of law arguing. You know, one of them saying, you know, that the accused person is innocent. That's what HO is arguing. He's a defense attorney arguing that HO is innocent. H1 is arguing, no, no, no. No, he's guilty. And so we're going to, we're, we're the jury. We're going to weigh the evidence with the online calculator and decide whether HO or H1 has the um, evidence with him. HO is called the null hypothesis. Why we say null? Null is a fancy word for zero. It's a science math word for zero. That little HO right there, the little zero, it's called null. Like if they say your check is... Uh, if you write a, a check to somebody and they say, okay, or somebody writes you a check and then you find out that check is null and void, that you know, null means it's worth nothing. It's a fancy math science business word for zero. So the null hypothesis, zero hypothesis. And then the other one, this is H1 down here. This is called the, uh, a different color here. This is called the alternative hypothesis. So we basically have two ideas on the table and we want to see which one has the evidence. Two attorneys, two ideas, the null hypothesis, HO, and the alternative hypothesis, HO, and they're like two attorneys arguing. What does HO say? We'll have to go down to the notes here. Oops. This is the uh, unit, again, the unit three notes, page two. It says step one, HO is P equals or U equals. HO is always equal weak evidence. Notice that HO is always equal weak evidence. That's either going to be P or U. We're doing P because this is a percentage question. The U is actually mu. It's the Greek M, um, but we're not doing That's for an average problem, but we're doing P for percentage. We already said that. It's a percentage problem. And it's, notice, always equal. HO is always equal and weak evidence. So HO, we're going to say, okay, and you, you can see that right here. This is going to be P. Oops, should use the right color here. So this is going to be P equal and what is it equal to 0.72 because that was the percentage cured by the old treatment this one's going to be now the alternative so it says right here h1 is p or u you know u if you're doing an average we're doing percentage greater less or not equal well how do you know which one it is well um so p this is going to be h1 down here is going to be P to the me greater, less, or not equal. But what so you just look up in the words and you say, does it ever say more, less, bigger, smaller, some kind of word like that? You know, to be greater or smaller. Does it say that? That's what it says here in the notes. It says um greater, less, or same different. So we look up and we go, okay. Um, what does it ever say? Higher. There it is. See it in the in the words of the question? Higher. So higher is greater, higher is greater. Higher, higher than what? Higher than what? Is it, is there starting to the percentage rate is higher? Oops, oops, oops. There you go. Higher, it says for the new treatment, higher, higher than what? higher than 0.72, because that was the old one. You with me? 0.72, 72%. 72%.
that was the old treatment. And we're saying is the new one percentage higher, greater than 0.72? Is the new one greater, higher than 0.72? So notice HO is always equal. I'll put that right here. Always equal. Every problem, HO will be equal. And H1 can be greater, can be less, can be not equal. That's what the notes say. And in our case, it says higher. So it's greater than the old one. So these two attorneys then are arguing. HO attorney, the null hypothesis, saying, hey, the percentage for the new treatment is just equal to the old one. It's the same as the old one. And the H1 alternative hypothesis, he's saying, no, 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 no. The percentage cured for the new treatment is greater. It's higher than the old one, higher than 0.72. So which one's right? Is it equal to the, is it the same as the old one or is it better than the old one? And you think, well, what if it's worse? Well, worse would just, you know, we would go with equal, equals means just not greater. So we would go with that camp. So basically is, is, the, is the new one greater or is it not better? That's, that's what we're wondering. So where does the evidence lie? Well, now to figure that out, we're going to go to the online calculator. So where, where do we go? Look at the notes here. Step three. Identify whether it's percentage or mean. It's a percentage. Percentage question. Go to the online calculator. Hypothesis test for a proportion. It's going to ask us for N, X, and P0. And then the radio button. N, X, P0, radio button. So let me tell you what they are ahead of time. Then we'll go there and do it. So we're going to say, okay. So what was the name of the calculator again? It was um, uh, percent proportion. Online like a hypothesis test for a proportion. Hypothesis test for proportion. Okay, and it's going to ask us for in X. What does it want? In X, P0, and a radio button. N, X, P, zero. How do we know what these are? Well, the N is always the total. You know that. So what's the total people in this study? Uh, 60, right? They studied 60 people. And the X is always what we want. We want one to be cured. 49 were cured out of 60. So 49 cured. What's P, zero? Uh, P, zero is the number from... H0. So you go to H0. Here's H0. You grab that number. Oops. Um, 0.72. It's always the number that, that the little, let the little zero guide you. P sub zero. That little sub zero. That's telling you, go grab the number from H sub zero from null hypothesis. Put those in. And then the radio button. Got to finish that up. There is a radio button. Radio button. That's always from H1, what, what from H1? It's the symbol right there from H1 is gonna be greater. We're gonna choose that radio button next to greater, well, I don't need that. Okay, let me uh, show you in the calculator. So 60, 49.72, let's go to the online calculator. So um, here we are, here's the online calculator, come on down. I'm looking for a hypothesis test. See a hypothesis test there. It's uh, for proportion. Number six, there's a lot of hypothesis tests. 14, 15, 16 are all hypothesis tests. I'm going to go with number 16, hypothesis test for a proportion. Click on that one. Because so we have a percent. This is a percentage question. N was 60. X was 49. P0 was 0.72, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, 0.72. And the radio button is greater because they said, is the new one higher than the old one? So radio button over here, I got to change. See, I'm changing the radio button. I'm going to go with greater. There we go. Hit calculate. Calculate. There's a Z value and a P value. See the Z and the P? That's what we're going to take back with us. So you can just copy and paste those. Just highlight them, copy and paste. Okay, back we go to the question. And sure enough, they have them in there. There's the Z value. 
There's the p-value, just like we saw them on the online calculator. Okay, now, so, so what do those things mean? Well, I'm not going to talk much about the z-value. It's kind of a dinosaur. Um, but the p-value, that's what we're into now. What does that mean? Well, we'll see. So we come on down here. So they're saying, okay, we want you to compare. They're going to ask us to compare the p-value and the alpha level. See right here, p-value and then alpha. What is that? Well, the p-value is that number we just got. So that's right here. That's the 0 0.0477. Okay, alpha level they gave us up here, right there. Alpha level of this point, 0 0.05. So 0 0.05. Now the question is, uh, which one of these numbers is bigger or smaller? Well, the, it's going to go this way. Right, because O5 is bigger than O4, isn't it? Remember the way that greater than, less than symbol works? You, he's always he's always open. You know, the symbol has a wide side and a narrow side. So like I could go three is less than 10. I could go eight is greater than two. So the uh, wide side is toward the bigger number. The wide side towards the bigger number. So... 0.04 is less than or equal to 0.05. 0.04 is smaller than 0.05. Okay, that's where I got that symbol there. What does that mean? What, what am I, how am I getting these answers? Well, then that means go back to the um, notes. And now we're on step four down here. We, are, we already did step three. So down to step four now. Now there's, there's basically two options in step four. P is less than alpha or P is greater than alpha. And then you just follow what comes after depending on which case you have. What did we have? Getting back, we had less, less. P is less than alpha. Well, if P is less than alpha, it says it right here, P is less than alpha. Here's the saying. When the P is low, the null must go. This means when the P value is low, P is less than alpha, that's what it was, the null must go away. That is, reject the null, keep H1, strong evidence. So we're going to come back and go, oh, I'll write it right here for our um, remembrance. And P is low. Then the null, HO, that's the null. Remember, it's a fancy zero, the one with the zero. Null must go. And, and so that's that's rhymes. Everybody that takes stats learns that saying for a hypothesis. Says, when the P is low, the null must go. When the P is low, the null must go. It kind of rhymes. And if you go, go what? what that? So I'm going to add the word that wrecks the rhyme, but gives us the meaning, go away. When the P is low, the null must go go away, go away. So what does that mean? Well, remember, remember this was all about which attorney do we believe has the stronger evidence? Is it HO or is it H1? Well, we're saying right here, because the P is low, the null must go away. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go bye-bye null. The null is gonna go away. So I am going to reject HO, I just did, and that's what it says down here, right? Uh, the null must go away. That is reject HO. Keep H1, strong evidence. So I'm going to say, oh, so keep H1. Because if we're rejecting HO, we're keeping H1. And strong evidence. So keep an H1. So that's, so we right here, so like, like we said, we are rejecting. Rejecting the null. The evidence is strong. Okay, and then what, what does that mean? Well, this is the attorney we're believing. We the, the online calculator basically told us that the evidence is strong that this guy is true. How do I know? How do I know that guy's true? Well, we rejected HO and we're keeping H1. So I'm keeping H1, so I'm believing this guy. So what does that guy say then? If this is the guy I believe, go back to what, what does he say? He says P is greater than 0 0.72, higher. And the and the evidence is strong. So our conclusion, so down here, so our conclusion is that the new skin cancer treatment percentage cured is greater than, greater than 72%, 0 0.72, same thing. Greater than 72%. So we say, no, so the online calculator tells us, no, 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 that, that's strong evidence. You know, that's enough. 49 out of 60. That's, that's strong evidence. That's strong evidence. 
So we keep H1. We believe the new treatment, the, the new treatment's cure rate is really going to be higher than 70%. The, over time, you know, in, in a couple of years, we'll know after thousands of patients have taken it. But we believe based on our preliminary study of 60 patients, of which 49 were cured by the new treatment, we believe that's strong evidence that the uh, new skin cancer treatment really does cure a higher percentage and will in the long run higher than 72%, higher than the old one. We think that's strong evidence. Now's a good time for me to mention what that p-value is. Well, that the calculator calculated for us. That's the chance of luck. Remember we said up here in the beginning, well, yeah, yeah, I see that you got 49 out of 60, which is 82%, but maybe that was just luck. Well, that's what the p-value is. The p-value came out to be 0.04 something right here, right? 047. So that's the chance of luck. That's the chance that the results are really just lucky. And that's, that's under 5%. That's why we compared it to 5%. That's what it meant that we were doing a significance level of 5%, meaning they're saying, make sure your, your results have less than a 5% chance of luck. And ours did barely have less than a 5% chance, like 49 out of 60. That could have been luck, but there's only a 4.7% chance that those results were lucky, which is less than five. So we consider that strong evidence in this case because they told us take anything less than five percent as significant as strong evidence and so we did and so there's our conclusion that the new treatment really is better than the old it has a, is going to have a higher cure rate time will tell for sure but we are pretty confident because of that study we did at 49 out of 60 people we think that's pretty strong evidence there's less than a five percent chance of luck there's about a 4.7 percent chance those were just lucky numbers that's pretty low chance. We think the evidence is strong that the new treatment in the long run will cure more than the old, more than greater, greater number than 72%. And so there we go.